Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. Our tech bit um, for the message app covering the details screen. Okay, so um, we've already opened up our messages program, and we're showing here on the left that the message thread with Karen um, and myself is highlighted. So what we're seeing on the right are the message uh, is the message thread that Karen and I have going together, and we're going to point out to you. Um, the details screen. So if I go into the details screen, it's going to bring up a whole other screen of just details about Karen and mine's text thread. Uh, the first thing that you're going to notice at the top of the screen is a map, and it's showing me where Karen McKay is. Mm -hmm. Right now, she's in Independence, Minnesota. Um, and that's a great thing. So Karen has shared her location with me. So right from the texting or right from the messaging program, I can see where Karen is. Um, and be able to to know if she's you know at work or at play or whatever she's doing. Um, this is a really nice feature. You can share your location many different ways, and I'm going to show you how to do that um, in just a second. What you're also going to see is it's showing me the details, her name. I've also got a little telephone, a FaceTime camera, and an info button, so I could call her right here from messaging if I wanted to. Very convenient. Mm -hmm. I can FaceTime with her. And or I can go into the eye and it'll bring up her contact card. And you see that little eye in a lot of places, it means info. If you, right. You're going to see the info. Right. So it's a really great feature. Um, let's look at how we actually share location. Um, right in this little section here, location, we have two options. We can share the current location, which is just a quick thing that you can do. Maybe you're meeting somebody um, at a mall or at a park. You can share your current location so they know where to find you. You know, you're picnicking somewhere, and so you say, here, this is where we are. And then that person would be able to bring it up in the Maps program, and it would be able to take them right to my location. So if I want to do that, I'm going to go ahead and say, send my current location. And now it has sent to Karen. First it located me. We happen to be at the same place right now, so they're going to look the same. Yep. And, and here if, you can see on my phone, yep. I've received her location. Right, and go ahead and tap on it, Karen, because it's going to, just to show them, that it'll take her right into the MAPS program, and she can get directions to here. Right. So it's kind of cool. Um, that's a really great feature. I'm going to go back into the details area. It's handy, like, if you're at a carnival or a festival or something right, or a big park. area and yeah. you want to just tell someone where you are instead of saying, you know, take a look right. at the slushy stand, you know. Right. It's great. Another thing um, is sharing your location. Now you can, this is where, let's say that you're mobile, you're at the state fair and you, someone's coming to meet you, but you don't know when they're gonna get there. You're not gonna stand by the slushy stand the whole time. You wanna be moving around. So you can share your location with somebody for an hour till the end of the day or indefinitely. Right. Okay. So if we share, um, let's say until the end of the day, it's going to say, use this device to share your location. Yes, let's use it. And now, Karen will be able to see my location continually until um, the end of the day. Right. So if I'm moving around, she can still find me. Just like I've done with you up here. I shared my location. Exactly. Now, where this is, you know, really nice is, um, you know, with, like with my spouse, for example. I'm going to go to Mosin, and I'm going to go to the details screen. We're always sharing our location. So I can easily find out where he is. Did he leave work? Is he stuck somewhere? Is he still at Costco? Keep tabs on him, <laughs> Keep right? Keep tabs on him, right. <laughs> now do know that you can turn that off. This do not disturb. Oh no, that won't do it. There is a place, we'll be looking at that in settings where you right. can turn that feature in off. In our message settings. Indefinitely, if you were going to go shopping for somebody uh, and you didn't want them to know where you were going or something, or something more covert than that, um, <laughs> we won't get into it. No, that. we don't do things like you that. You can turn it off. But it is really nice um, because you don't have to go into Find My Friends or into Find an iPhone to find where somebody is. I've used it with my mother before. She shares her location. Our mother shares her location with us. And then I'm able to find out, you know, she didn't come home when she was supposed to. And I was waiting and waiting and I was worried. I found out she was still at the hairdresser. I called them up and they said, oh yeah, we were running late. She'll be done in a few minutes. So it does have a lot of um, useful right. features. So what is this do not disturb? This do not disturb mutes the notifications for this conversation. This is really handy if you're in a group text okay. with a bunch of people and you don't want to be disturbed with everybody's reply. You're going to go in and look at it when you have time. Because if you got 10 people in a group message and everybody's going back and forth and you're busy, you're, it's going to drive you crazy. Right. So you can just turn that off, go look at it when you want. 
And uh, a feature that I really like about this details page, um, if you scroll down at the very end of the details, it'll show you all the pictures that you have texted with this person. And I think this is awesome because so many times you'll text someone a picture and then you might want to find it or you get a text from someone of a picture and you, instead of you know coming out here and going all the way back in your thread to find it right just go to details at the bottom and it groups all the pictures that you've texted into one area yeah it's a great feature thanks for watching the sync sisters tech bit and please subscribe to our channel